I want to quiz you. Okay. Something that I know you already know, but I'm just setting you up. Okay. okay? <laughs> Set me up. Do you know what Micah six eight says? <laughs> I think I heard that somewhere. Uh huh. <laughs> could you could you quote it to us? <laughs> sure. Okay. So um, Micah six and eight. So what have I asked of you, old mortal man? Um, but to do justice, love kindness, and walk humbly with our Lord. And that's para paraphrased a little that's bit. That's a Rodney Lynch version. Yeah, right. That's, but that's yeah. a, it's a good well, one. Oh, like mortal it. man, what have I asked of you but to do justice, love kindness, walk humbly of our Lord? How, and, 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 it's, and when you, when you, when that is exactly, do justice. Don't say talk about it, mm -hmm. but do justice. Um, love, mercy, kindness. And as Cornell West would say, justice is love on public display, mm. you know. Um, and so, but let me, let me say this too, Jeff. You can't um, just talk about or um, reflect on verses 8 without the context. Give it to us. One through seven. Uh huh. So God was it, it, it that message verses one through seven was an indictment on the church, mm. <laughs> or or the temple, or the or God, the, the, the people, the people of the God, people at of the God. Time. Let me put it like yeah. That. It was an indictment on the people of God that you know there were certain things happening in the place in the temple or the place of worship that wasn't transitioning into the community. Mm. And, and God is like, haven't I did this for you and did that for you? And, and then the first thing the people ask, respond and says, I guess around verse 6 and 7, should we give you more sacrifices? Mm -hmm. But God is like, no. What, have I, what, what has I, I asked of you, old mortal man, but to do justice, love, kindness, and walk humbly with our God? In other words, what's happening inside this temple is fine. But it's not enough mm. if it's not doing anything in the community. Mm. You know, the widows are not being taken care of. If, if children are not being taken care of, you know, if, if there's just, is it, if the community is, is just reeking with injustice, but we having such a good time inside the temple or the church, I'm not so sure God is pleased with that. So that's not one of those verses that you read and you say, okay, God doesn't really require that much of me. He only requires... <laughs> No. He only requires that, you know, I'm interested in justice and I, I'm okay with mercy mm -hmm. and, you know, I'm humble before my God. Y right. You're saying it's... No, it's, it's a, it, it, like you said, do justice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've been called to action. That's, that's part of your heart's passion. I set you up because no, I, know, I know that's, that's big on your heart. I've heard Absolutely. you quote that passage, I don't know, maybe yeah. every time we get together. Yeah. Something along those lines. As that soon was as the theme in my seminary, by the way. Okay. <laughs> as soon yeah. as you start to get riled yeah. up, yeah. These, these are the words that begin to come out. And I'm just, um, I'm fascinated that Old Testament, obvious God's will words don't infect us more deeply these days. That's so, that, that, I was just talking about that. In, in the meeting I was in before I came here tonight. Mm. And uh, we were talking about it through the lens of um, individualism. Mm. Because, you know, uh, this Christianity that we know of in, in this, this westernized Christianity, it, it seems to be so excessively individualistic. It's about me and I, all them personal pronouns, right? Save me, bless me, favor me, Lord. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, um, my salvation and all this, you know, all this personal pronoun stuff, right? Yet, when we go back to the First Testament, it's more communal. You know, God sent Moses to, to lead the children, plural, of Israel into the Exodus, out of enslavement. He didn't send Moses to, to just save Moses. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. He sent Moses to save Second Chronicles 7, verse 14, if my people, plural, mm -hmm. yeah. who, not a person, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then God promises I will hear you, forgive you, and heal the entire land. Yeah. So somehow... We have missed it. 
where, where we went from First Testament to Second Testament, or Old and New Testament, and we have lost that sense of community that really needs to be redeemed in, 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 in America, I yeah. think, as Christian people. We, it, we really have to get back to the communal aspect, not this individualism. Well, individual theology mm-hmm. has nothing to say about just the word justice. Correct. You, you can't right. have any justice right. if you're only focused on your individual uh, self. Correct. Same, similar with mercy. Mercy doesn't exist if I'm only focusing That's on right. myself. 